There we go. Uh, that's, that's really far. Uh, just a little bit more. This is gonna be chip tunes. Yeah, it will be. Uh, <laughs> but it's all the most awesome music that's ever existed in video Pretty games. Pretty much, yeah. It is. Uh, yeah, Omar, it is the, it is the best music uh, from the best time uh, for the best video games ever made. Mm -hmm. There they are, right now. What you're seeing now live is a recording of me playing because the SNES. Oh, well, we're playing the SNES Classic. Oh yeah, that's a podcast. <laughs> Hold on, it rolls back. I get there eventually. Everyone said we're being producers. <laughs> yeah, we're being producers. The mics are on. I know that much. Uh, welcome to a fully mic'd, oh probably recorded episode of Dude Soup. I don't mean pre-recorded, by the way. I just meant that it's probably recording now because I'm an excellent producer. I'm, I'm checking with Bones, make sure we're all good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm watching the mic levels. Last, I've been getting reports that usually the person front and center is like way too present or, or yeah. loud. It's mostly because I'm usually, usually right up on it. Mostly Lawrence. Mostly me, because uh, I project and... Most important person on the podcast. I did my hair, man! Uh, look at this, another safe state. Wow, look at this pro play. Getting that axe. This is what yeah. you did? Yeah, man. Neat. So, that's Wait, we'll so how much of it does it remember that you played? Good question, Omar. Uh, I will address all your queries in time. Uh, first, let me welcome you to a 90s bowl of dude soup. I'm your host, Lawrence Sontag. I'm joined by James Willems. Hello. Uh, Castlevania fan number one, Adam Kovic. I love Simon Bellhunt. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and, and tragedy of the year, actually, shouldn't, shouldn't phrase this like that <laughs> on a day of actual legitimate, yeah. holy fuck, world-ending tragedy. Yeah, take your pick. But, uh, Jeez. man who lost his SNES Classic in the mail, yeah. or wow. Into he the ether. Yeah, yeah, lost to the ether. But, super fan, Mr. J. Rye. Coming through and sending me one. No shit. How did he get one? Wow. He works he somewhere stole, that he works he somewhere that sells them. them. Oh, but yeah. He's he's sending me one, so all's good. All's all's right in my world. Mm. That's uh that's Omar. I don't remember if I said his name. Right. Oh, yeah, says you sound good. Cool. Oh right. Hey, look at that. Producers. Uh, speaking of production, this uh, oh you guys can't see this. This is it's research. A, yeah, spoiler. Sanding. Blur. Uh, this episode is brought to you by two sponsors, Mac Weldon and Storyblocks. Yes, Storyblocks. Uh, you, so you can get twenty percent off your Mac Weldon order. By using our promo code soup, and you can get a seven day free trial by going to storyblocks.com slash dude soup. If you're curious about either of those sponsors, we'll hear more from them. I'm curious later. Yeah, you got my attention. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, so what yeah, is this? You're fighting the Uh The SNES Classic has a pretty pretty cool set of like, uh, oh, there I go, dead, uh, of, of like uh, bonus features. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Omar, have you noodled around with the the NES Classic, NES Classic at all? Uh, yeah, I played I played most of the games that are on it. Okay, at, le at least once, and then it sat on a shelf for, since then. So I'm curious, I'm curious if it had these features. I'm sorry, I'm popping a little DDP for you, a little Diet Dr Pepper for you guys. <laughs> uh, keep it fresh. So the the fresh. SNES Classic has it can save game states. Yeah, the um, NES did that too. Okay, but it also has a demo mode. So if you just leave it on like it is now. It'll roll through all the games. It'll like do the the track mode. It'll like show the title screen, intro music, and it can also pick save states that you have saved and play like the last minute leading up to that state as part of its demo loop. I don't know if the NES Classic can do that. I don't think it did. Also, this one you can actually like when you go back to your save state, you can rewind time in your yeah. playthrough, right? Yeah, did the NES Classic? I don't think did it, it do did that, that either. Okay, no. I was say, those do, are do cool emulators features. even do that these days. I I emulators are, are rad about. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. save states you just you can have a million of them, so you can mm -hmm. just go back to whatever. I don't think it like plays in reverse to get there. I, I got out of the emulator game a while ago. Um, after was it? I think someone sold me a hacked PSP and I had nice. an emulator built into it so I could play Super porn Nintendo games. You never had one thing. of those hacked Xbox or original Xboxes? That, well, yeah, but I got the PSP after that. Okay. That was, I had a friend who had a, a modded Xbox and I gave see. that to me, and that blew my fucking mind. Yeah, that was thing like, was fucking insane. Yeah, I, that was happening. I stopped using emulators when I ran out of games that I actually owned, and thus the ROMs were just backup copies that I was legally allowed to have. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, we, we all did that. Yeah, so one of the yeah, things that when when this thing was coming out and we were talking about it on a past podcast, like what, like months and months ago? Yeah, it was we're talking a while like, ago. oh, you mean people can just emulate, but like emulators are a gray area, and this thing's a legit way to have all these games. That's yeah. true. I'm I'm actually pretty excited about this thing. Does anyone want ups? Uh, good. James is opting into Street Fighter. We got another controller. Nah, right he'll here. he'll beat the he'll get the M Bison I'll, in I mean, no time. I'll, I'll fucking die to James yeah, a bunch yeah. of times. Nice. That's good. All right, now we got we, six button controller. A real dude soup. Whatever, whatever, man. Get on those. Controller. Get how much, on those how much Genesis is an in, how much inferior the product? SNES, <laughs> SNES Mini? $80. 80 yeah, 80 something. That's not bad. So, yeah, I, I've kind of turned the corner on it. Uh, oh. I'm, I I still know that I would buy one. And this is, I guess, turning into a product review. Whatever, who cares? Um, <laughs> one of the things I think is really cool is it operates on, on a drip of USB power. So, if you have even the slightest powered USB port, it'll run on that. Oh, it's not AC? 
it can be, but no, it's just micro USB. That's how the the SNES was the same way. Yeah. So I I I've Wait tested it a minute. <laughs> I've like I've run it off of a port of an Xbox when it, when it's in power saving mode. Okay. Run it off in PC right now. And yeah, there are a lot of powered USB ports on the back of TVs now. So it's kind of like a Chromecast. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's actually kind of exciting. It's kind of cool. In yeah. the in the original one, I'm sure it's the same way, because I think they tore it down as it's the exact the same, same hardware, yeah. But that, that USB port is not just power, it's also a data connection to the board. So that's how people were hacking the shit out of them and wow. putting all kinds of games inside the emulator. So yeah, if you load this thing up, because the interface is slick, if they can find a way to replicate the, the save stating, the demo mode, if you could have a kit like this that has a demo mode like that and just load it up with every Super Nintendo game ever made, I don't Can know how much storage it has. So, yeah, those, that's the same guy, you racist. Oh, you're getting fucking, you're getting tigered. I'm tigered getting, into oblivion right now. When Come you, on, give him some of that yoga when flame! You, when you I'm first trying. saw Sag, Sagat, did you think it was also Bob Sagat? I wish. No, I, Famed actor. Man, that was when America's Funniest Home Videos was tearing up the fucking Nielsen's. Tearing him up. Wow. Well, I was more of a uh, Omar, you Funniest Home I, I landed a hit. Oh. That's something, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's not a perfect. <laughs> I don't know why you picked Dalsim. Dalsim? Dalsim? Because he breaches. Dalsim. Dalsim. Yeah, I always, I always try to go a little more ethnic and say Dalsim. I, so, so, but uh, I don't think that's right. Man, I, 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 I'm getting the reason why people go nuts for this shit, and it's usually something I try to keep buried deep inside uh, of me, which is the nostalgia trip. Sure. <laughs> Look at me and while I, you're doing I'm, it. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tiger versus yoga. James isn't even looking. Well, I just remember being a kid and thinking Dawson was the best because he could stretch across the screen. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, that's so well, cheap! <laughs> there were certain characters in Street Fighter that they had moves that looked like special yeah. moves. Mm. Well, but they, they didn't require doing attack. anything than hitting a button. Mm. So you're like, oh, Dalsim, I could stretch his legs. That's like super move. Yeah. Except it's not a super move. Not at all. And you're always better off doing fireballs. Makes it really easy to hit you, yeah. They're all the same. Oh, crazy days. They're all the same. Uh, I always thought Blanca was top tier because look at him. He's all bestial. He's got big old teeth. Mm -hmm. And yeah. look at his little... The, yeah, mess people up. That little picture, the portrait. The so, portraits are horrific. <laughs> they're monsters. <laughs> they're yeah. monsters. I like... Ryu always looked like oh, he had a good boy. expression. What, is, what does attack like, level do? Right? You do more damage, bro. Yeah, it's oh, like uh, it's handicaps. Basically. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, so these are all things I didn't know as a kid. You just... They just give you a menu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go figure it out. Oh, look at it. Oh, one to uh, one. <laughs> Lawrence, what are all the games that are on this? They're list? evenly matched. Uh, there are. I have a different doc that has the list. Let me let me pull that up here. So yeah, it's Ooh. it's I uh, it's funny. I haven't tested this yet, but my girlfriend's car has an HDMI port what? and a powered USB thing. Yeah, it's got like a touchscreen, right? So I'm thinking if I could actually like take this and play it in the car <laughs> and annoy the hell out of her while she's like trying to drive. Um, man, it, the feature it has bright. an HDMI that you can like output video to her center screen. It has a port. I'm assuming it's there because it's an input. I don't know what else it would be for, unless I want to bring like a TV monitor and have the car output something out of here. <laughs> All right, so here's here's your grand rundown: Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Dungeon Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3 slash 6, uh, F Zero, Kirby's Dream Force, Kirby Superstar, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox 1 and 2. Street Fighter 2, Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, um, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, and The Legend of Zelda. So that Metroid that just came out on 3DS, is that a remake of oh, Super Metroid? Yoshi's no. Island. That's a remake of Metroid 2, okay. which is not really a remake, it's like a redo. <laughs> Man, you guys are tornado <laughs> kicking Street Fighter. So, uh, did, I didn't know Ken could tornado kick backwards. I didn't Whoa! know. Whoa! Yeah. yeah, this is what uh, Turbo had. Oh, this Whoa! is Turbo. Yeah, see, I only rented Turbo. I had Street Fighter 2 for a little while, and then I had this weird childhood growing up where we get game consoles and then they get taken away immediately. Yeah, like because like you're playing it too much, no more. Anyway. Oh, taken away by friends. Yeah. Was the idea that you were supposed to self-regulate, but they didn't tell you that? I don't know. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, give give a kid oh a God. Snickers and tell him go easy yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah good you luck. Can't believe you ate the whole thing. You, you drank ass? all the punch. Now, now you don't get you don't well, get. But now you're in control of your own destiny. This game. You can play all the Street Fighter you want. I, that, that's the we were we were discussing this early on because uh, Lawrence was discussing like, hey, what do you want to talk about? And like Red Dead came up, and I was like, we're all just going to talk about how we're all getting old. No way, man. I'm we don't have time room. to play games. I am going to turn down social engagements to play Red Dead. Re I think a lot of people. Will. It's like Destiny. Like people do that sure. where they just they that's they lock okay. themselves in a room for a little bit and they play a game. Hey, if you, again, it's. It's not like playing for more than an hour straight, because then you'll get your console taken away, but give him that <laughs> SPD. Come on, you know you can do it. Um, I feel like as an adult... Wait, Blanca is a back-forward guy, right? Boom! Ouch! Yeah, you gotta charge. You gotta charge. He's also mash punch, so you do the... You do the electrocution. Anyway, James just pile-drove the fuck out of Omar. 
Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> pile them in the- yeah, the spinning yeah. lariat, you can't beat it. I like, uh, for audio listeners who are now bleeding from their uh, ear sockets. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Omar does- Omar does yeah, audio I'll, balancing on we'll it. compress that shit. No problem! He doesn't even have his glowing backhand, either. Yeah. Oh yeah, he doesn't have green hands. close that distance, I gotta spin at him. You gotta give him the spins. <laughs> I, uh, I still remember being hit me like, what's USSR? I think as an what adult, we should- uh, It's- it's funny, cause yeah, you guys- it's something that I've I have lamented, and I think a lot of people in their teens Damn and twenties that grow up loving video games wonder: Is there a point at which I will outgrow video games? I don't know that that necessarily happens. I just think it's life. Your life circumstance changes. Yeah. So you you can't enjoy games the same way Prioritize or the same kinds things. of games. Yeah. I feel yeah. like a lot of people fall victim to that stigma, though, that when you get to be an adult, you mm. need to stop playing that stuff. Mm, so they well, like they like make themselves not like it anymore. We're kind of lucky too, because I feel like games have been marketed to uh, our generation. Constantly, oh, yeah. the whole time. They, they, it was a kid's toy, and then as we got older, it was like, oh, there's violent games now. Mm -hmm. Just as we were getting to the point where we could like really start tolerating violent stuff. Hold on, look how derpy Guile's portrait looks. I mean, not that one. <laughs> look, both of them. <laughs> they all look <laughs> melted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, what, what can you do with pixel art? Draw a human. Like, <laughs> super super on they figured it out with Super. Super Street Fighter Two is the best. Clearly, had Cammy. Cammy's ass on me specifically. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a toss up. Uh, I, th I think that there there is or used to be social stigma. I think that also, James, to your point, I think the ride that we have been able to enjoy in gaming has been pretty special because, yeah, it was catered to us. I think pre-market crash was a little different. If oh, you look like at, like, gaming ads from the late 70s, it was to families and, like, there was a different demographic they were trying to hit, which yeah. was basically everybody, because it was a blow-up industry and nobody... It was great when they were marketing stuff, they didn't even know what they had. Yeah, they didn't like, care. It's a computer in your living room? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just buy it. You guys like it makes right? bleep blops. <laughs> You we, like big sparks? We got eight Pac-Mans. Eight of them. They're we all are. broken and garbage. Yeah. Well, if you think about like we, our generation, we didn't live through like industrial revolution or like automotive revolution. The gaming revolution. Gaming revolution. Noise. We started from Nintendo or like Atari era. Hashtag gamergate. And then yeah. now, you know, like that is our legacy is the advancements in computers and video games. Absolutely. I, I, I think uh, in terms of our times, the number one thing is the internet, in terms of how it's changed and shaped human society. Yeah. But it has been so... Uh, I consider myself extremely lucky to have seen basically all of video games as a, as a medium in my life. Um, which is good and, and maybe not so good, in the sense that the only, the only thing that hurts me is I can't play them all. <laughs> um, and to that extent, Red Dead 2. There's, there's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, and uh, speaking of demographics, though, it's also like... People are making games for, you know, I can see it, for like teenagers that have not a lot of money and a lot of time. So for them, an Assassin's Creed is great. And the nope. more stuff you put in it, the better. <laughs> well, just yeah. uh, I'm, uh, dictator yeah, stomp I'm done, on I'm done losing to I'm, James. Yeah, I'm done you losing. You guys play each other? No. Oh. <laughs> pick, a, pick a different what? game. And, and now I'm remembering why I didn't play fighting games at the arcade. Uh, I always yeah. played, uh, you represent the one Asian guy who lives in my town and keeps the shit quarters. out of me. Keep putting quarters up on the con. my dad only gave me two bucks. I'm not gonna waste it on you. I'm gonna go play the Simpsons arcade game. That's I, gonna beat your ass worse than this. Yeah, That's actually, actually very true. You won't get past the first boss. Those games are ridiculously unfair. I uh, I guess to summarize summarize my meandering thought. Um, for me, it's not necessarily a visitation of I'm old, so games aren't cool now. It's more a visitation of oh, I've gotten old enough to see the generation split inside of games and how they're made and for what whom. the fuck is going on? James knows all the tricks, man! Yeah. Crawling on the wall? I specifically picked this stage, that way I can crawl on my wall. Are you the only one that can? Of yeah. course. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. It flipped yeah. you. Got you the flip. <laughs> God damn it. Gonna hit all the buttons. Oh, so you can't do anything? This fucking while stage. On the nope, you just gotta wait. I mean, he's gotta come down at some point. You can hit him when he does. But... Street Fighter sounds stupid. Get away. I mean, I love Street Give Fighter. Give him the spin! Aw. Oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> there's Street Fighter there's, 2 is kind of... There's, there's a magical I, how do I moment. do this spin? There's a is magical moment punches? in the Street Fighter film. All the buttons? There it is. Where, yeah, every um, punch. All of them. Uh, if we, all remember, we all remember the Street Fighter movie fondly. Oh, yes. yes very but there's a great part where they're watching security footage, and the actor playing Zangief points at the screen as a boat's coming, goes, It's coming right for us! And they all look at him like, Oh, he's stupid. Oh, oh he's, he's slow. He's mentally handicapped. <laughs> he's just, yeah, <laughs> like everyone actually feels really bad for him at one point. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I've never seen a screen. Uh, and I thought Vega was a girl. Yeah, wait. Wait. No, Vega's not wearing a shirt. I know, I know. He's not wearing a mask right there either. Yeah, he, yeah, no, I know. he takes it off. He protects his beauty. Guys, yeah. don't you know anything about Street Fighter lore? Come on. <laughs> Climb the climb. <laughs> anyway, hey, I'll shut the fuck up and keep climbing that fence. <laughs> but one scene in the anime where him and Chun Li tear down was. I like good. how Zang the inside of Zangief's mouth is the same teal as his pants. Ugh. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh boy, yeah, he's. They only had so many colors in the, the Super hey, Nintendo the greatest console of all time. Welcome to Street Fighter commentary. <laughs>
Where I you, remember oh, the, the Roll KMFDM move. song in a fucking sweet. The what? You guys remember the Street Fighter cartoon? Yeah. So you, it was a, it was a trade-off, right? Which Either, one? Well, um, oh, not the Alpha one, like the original animated movie. <laughs> oh. Like from '94. Which only takes a shower. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's the devil's. That's the devil's trade-off. It was more of a Tekken anime. You, man, uh, man, so. Tekken was a bad knockoff Street Fighter. Uh, I was a Battle Arena Toshinden <laughs> oh, man. Uh, man myself. Toball, Toball, man over oh, sorry, here. Toball. Should we either get the Japanese one where you can <laughs> see your that, boobs? Isn't that get considered the, the worst fighting industrial. game that's ever been? Toball? No, no. Oh. Battle, Battle Arena Toshinden. What? No way. <laughs> There's oh. no way. Oh. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Street Fighter 2 sucks. What? No, no Street Fighter 2 laid the groundwork America. for better games to come along. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you're right. It did. Oh. It got a lot right. It's not something I want to like. I'm playing as around. Tracy, Tracy um, Morgan. <laughs> no, I, see, <laughs> I see what you're saying, though, Laura. It's like, well, I've, I've noticed that just. It's weird because we have jobs where the, the <laughs> we idea is we sit around and play games all day, which is like the right. furthest thing from the truth. It's huh. more of like a video production thing that's based around the idea of playing video games all day. Oop. And then I go home and I do actually want to play games and I don't want to do it in front of people. Like I want to sit there and like I want to. Oh, more punches. So I've been playing like Ruiner. Um, Game rules. It's really good. It's very hard. It's very hard. And oh. like I play it and I'm like, I don't want to lose in front of people. Time I don't want everyone to always see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. And so. It, it, there's just certain, and then like Overwatch, it's like sometimes I just I just want to lose in in there my own silence, you know. I want to yeah. just want to do my thing, do it, and then like, uh, and then I, I play I play mobile games more often these days because it's just easier on the go. So that's why I was asking about the Metroid game. Oh. I, I kind of want to play that. Uh, we gotta have, dust out that 3ds. Well, you, you gotta bust out your switch and play Golf Story, bra. Yeah, bra. What's great? What's so great about Golf Story? It's fucking awesome. I don't know. It's it's, it's super. It's uh, super like dumb and okay. It's like and, a golf RPG, right? But it yeah. is a golf RPG yeah. with a bunch of like other so weird cool. stuff happening in the background that you can go do. Like there's disc golf, there's mini golf. Cool. There's, it's all eight bit though, right? Yes, it yeah. is that style <laughs> of game. That, that's that's hard. To get me, uh, the last game I played in that style, I, I'm sure it was actually more like 16 bit or maybe even 32 bit. But the uh, Hyperlight Drifter was the last sort of one of those games that went out of that, its way to be yeah, retro. That's a new game though. That was like new game mechanics wrapped in an old game visual. So, what Golf Story is an old game? It is. I mean, it's like. Do you remember the Mario Golf for original Game Boy? Sure. Yeah, like, I never that, played it, is, it but it's I know that of it. kind of gameplay where you like. You hit A and it charges your meter. You hit A and then you hit A again and then he hits the ball. And nope. that's you do that over and over and over again. Yeah, over I might check out Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> well, that yeah. I don't know what that is, but everyone talks about it. So I think every golf story looks great. Well, everything I've seen mm -hmm. of golf. Good God! Look, he's jacked. It's Why doesn't he? It's cartoon. They can draw it however they want. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Balrog ripped off his shirt. Yeah, no, excuse he, me, Boxer intense. ripped off his shirt for all you Japanese viewers. Does anyone else want James? Don't to worry about it. We can play something else. <laughs> I gotta clear the fight the computer. <coughs> I gotta clear the way for an ad read, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be looming. Okay. I'm in perch mode right now. You guys give me a segue, and I'm off to the races. These are, these are all the games I was, was oh, never able to play. These are what? I can never I can never play these things because yeah. I would uh, I'd see them at the store and yeah. be like, can I rent that? Oh yeah, we don't have a Super Nintendo anymore. Well, for the mere cost of eighty dollars, Adam, you can relive a childhood you never had. Is that your ad read? No. Oh. No. You oh, wish, oh. man. Good. Oh. For even less money than that. You can clad your testicles with the finest cloth that your childhood mind could imagine. Nice. It has to be Blue Apron. It does have to be Blue Apron. No, this is a this is an ad read for Mac Weldon. Yeah, sponsoring this podcast and makers of of uh, fine shirts, underwears, undergarments, and uh, relaxables. That's what I'm going to call them. Uh, they have a silver line of of cloth, which is all uh, antimicrobial. You've heard us talk about it a bit, but essentially the idea is you can. Thrash these guys, uh, so it's like good for workouts. Good for if you if you notice you happen to be a stinky person, if you've got some stank in you, then you might want to look at this line because uh, given that they are antimicrobial, you might stink, but the shirts themselves never will. Uh, you'll still have to wash them, but they don't harbor like the stinky bugs that make stinks smell. So they'll be fresh as a rose. Yeah, as soon as you put it through the wash. I just worked out of mine. I smell good. Yeah, he does. Smell my crotch. <laughs> Yep. I can't. Exactly. It's beautiful. It's clean. Uh, and, on top of all these things, uh, on top of all their uh, amazing underwear and wonderful craftsmanship, they are also offering all of the listeners of Dude Soup 20% off. All you have to do is use our promo code, which is fittingly, SOUP. So don't let a soup develop between your nethers. <laughs> get uh, Mac Weldon underwear today. And again, get 20% off using our promo code SOUP. Uh, and I enjoy watching James beat up on an old, an old man. Is this Mike Tesson or just Super? 
Well, they couldn't get Mike Tyson. Yeah, no. Because at that point, I think he was a rapist. This is super. And a wife beater. Yeah, so. they dropped. They dropped Tyson pretty quickly. Yeah. They even re. I mean, so they had Mike Tyson's Punch Out. So there was Punch Out, then Mike Tyson. No, Mike, Tyson. No, Mike Tyson's Punch Out was the original. Oh. Okay. They swapped it up to. Or wasn't there an arcade game just called Punch Out? There was a. You're right. There was an arcade game called yeah. Punch Out that was much more similar to Super. It had a super meter. You could duck. Um, it actually had two screens. Um, everyone, no one really knows about that one. It's weird. You had to duck by like pulling up on the joystick. Very strange. I saw at an arcade once, like Magic Mountain. I'm like, what are you? Well, that's where Bear Hugger comes from, who James is about to meet. Um. Uh, so yeah, they they pulled some some characters from the the arcade Punch Out to be in Super Punch Out, which is what this is. Hmm. But uh, Mike Tyson is on it. Super Punch when he comes down. Woo! Ah, timing was a little off there. Yeah. Ah, what you gonna do? Getting whooped up I by a Never played Punch man. Out for Wii. Oh, it was never, great, man. I heard good stuff. Yeah. Oh man, it's so good. Was it, it was it moving the controllers? It could be, you, but you didn't. Yeah, have to. you okay. didn't want to. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Heard good stuff. And I remember Little Mac came to uh, Smash Bros. Yeah, and everyone used them. And it, yeah, it was actually a cool setup. Like you could play it with the balance board, so that would dodge you left and right, oh. and then yeah, throw punches. Man, how was, gimmicky. Yeah, well, I'm, it's weird. People like speaking of being old. All right, people lambasted Nintendo for being gimmicky in the Wii era, but they've always been gimmicky. Uh, the the like console that everybody ha hallows is. The, the gamer's console of all time, the Nintendo Entertainment System, was loaded with gimmicks. It had the light gun, it had the power glove, it had the mat, it had wasn't, Rob. It wasn't made by Nintendo, though. The power glove was, uh, yeah, was I know. Tiger or whatever. That's fair, that's fair. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's oh, no, weird. but that was the thing, though. The way Nintendo did it, it, it was a weird thing where it made it look like it was licensed by Nintendo, even mm. though it wasn't. Like, all the crazy. marketing and everything, it, it all, they all had to follow, like, very strict guidelines that tricked the consumer into thinking, like, I always thought Game Genie was made by Nintendo. Oh. I was like, why would they let me oh, cheat? Yeah. yeah, and then you look at it and it's like, it's, you know, Mattel. Oh, yeah. oh, oh okay. Game Genie is so weird. I remember, now in retrospect, I know what it did. It just altered like hex values that was in, mm -hmm. in RAM and shit to like oh, yeah. give you more lives. It's, but, it's the same way they made, uh, what's it called? Uh, Miss Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. Some dudes added. Some, well, some dudes <laughs> hacked Pac-Man to make it faster. And they're like, oh, yeah. Just I put didn't... a bow on it. <laughs> just put a bow James, yeah. How are you counterpunching him in the gut? This doesn't make sense. I don't he's telling me to hit them. Now. I know, but usually when he does that, you hit him, and he's like, "Haha, it doesn't." Yeah, hurt that's me. what I thought. I don't understand what's happening right now. I fix punch up. Maybe that's his second form, is what you're thinking of. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Usually, usually his first form is he tells you to punch him in the stomach, and then he laughs at you when you do to illustrate that you can't. It's a wonderful. Uh, what is that? Why well, is that working? I don't understand. Weird. His face is so there. Expressive. That's usually what he does. I don't get it. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, speaking of the lost days of Nintendo. Super Punch-Out is one of the weird games that actually was like a Super Nintendo version of their really old art style. So back when they were doing like Gunfight and Popeye and Donkey Kong, they had a lot of this stuff. Like, very comical western style yeah. cartoons, the te like the plus signs for teeth. Mm. And then Super Punch-Out, I didn't hit me until I was playing it last night, I'm like, oh, it's that art style again. Except Nintendo very rarely, very rarely dips into using that. They, you can see some of it in Smash Brothers. Oh, look at him sidestep hmm. you. Tell Danny O'Dwyer to do a documentary on it. Yeah, Danny, where you at? Uh, he's, I no think, clip me up. He's in uh, he's Poland. Moving. He's moving, right? Oh, he's, he's moving, moving to, to the yeah, he's moving to the East Coast. His, his uh, Witcher series just came out there. Yeah, the, oh, I just I, I watched half of the first one already. I wanna we're, Lawrence and I literally have to catch a flight. Yeah. in a couple hours. Download it. So you're gonna read them. I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna download on Red. Yeah, and watch yeah, it on yeah. plane. I need to watch that 14 series. I love that. 14 series. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I actually, I uh, I give him money through Patreon. And nice. I get some of that stuff early I, and behind I, the scenes stuff, and it's fucking awesome. All I like his amazing. series. I want to offer some criticism, Danny, if you're listening. Uh oh. Bold. Shots <laughs> well, fired. I, I watched. I, no, it's not shots fired at all. Shots fired. They, it's very much documentaries. Uh, it's like the by gamers for gamers sort of thing. Yeah. Which is a little off putting because I tried watching the Rocket League series with Jess, and he would, he he does the thing where he he assumes you know what you're talking about, and I felt bad because I'm like, mm. oh, this whole story about Rocket League is really interesting, but she has no idea yeah, when they're kinda... referencing other games, like when they say UE, she, she's like, she doesn't know it means Unreal Engine, like. That that happened in the. I uh, remember the thing that got me into Danny stuff was the um, the Titan Overwatch series. Okay. And he did the thing where he goes, "Oh yeah, isn't that crazy? How he made a, a character named Soldier 76." Ha. Huh. Anyway, moving on. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Like, tell me. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, because it's like a, it's a very inside baseball sort of story. So like, my only wish was that they made it. He he took that extra step and said, "What if someone who's not into gaming is watching this, but they're interested in it?" Because mm. I, I believe you you can watch a documentary about something that. You might not be interested in, but learn something from it, and still be somewhat fascinated, even though you're not part of that culture. Sure. So I don't. Know. I, I agree with you. He's like he's like ba barely not there too. 
So that that one little extra step would do that. I think. Yeah, I've got a well, I got a, a devil's question for you. What 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 would you? S I I can see if he were to do that, the audience would be like, Danny, you could just say UE. We know what it means. Yeah. So I don't know if he's like serving the gamer audience Possibly. by 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 avoiding things like that or assuming mm. that knowledge. Mm. It, I'm, it's, I'm it's saying if, point, if HBO comes a knocking yeah. and they they want your your you know they want to move your content over to a different platform because honestly stuff's good enough that it could be on Netflix or yeah, yeah. something like that. It's like I would just say add that extra step to widen your audience a little bit and I, it, it's a it's kind of a general consensus with gaming culture where it feels very insular and like it's sort of like this is our clubhouse don't come in. I I always wanted to be more of a welcoming thing. I don't want people to feel intimidated. It's it's like why I wouldn't listen to uh, Iron Maiden because the album looked too scary. <laughs> like I don't want to. That's too much for me. I I you don't you don't want to be Iron Maiden. You want to be uh, what's what's happy album art? I don't know. Nirvana, Naked Baby. Sure, you know? Yeah, Naked <laughs> Children, <laughs> Floating in Water. Yeah, some of that. Pure depression music. <laughs> yeah, I was always intimidated by Kiss, and then I listened to it and said, Kiss sucks. Wow. I had, I had similar a similar path with Metallica uh, of all things, mm -hmm. um, because it growing up in a in a. Uh, fairly conservative church. There are certain things that are re routinely cited as being horrific and satanic. Hmm. So Dungeons and Dragons, Metallica, and then violent video games in the you know in the mid '90s were the Devil's Three. So I always thought Dungeons and Dragons and Metallica were horrible because I grew up with video games and I was like, this isn't bad. Hmm. So I don't know why my logic didn't extend to thinking, oh, Metallica's not so bad. But then I, I like went over to a friend's house and he he played some stuff and I was like, what well, is this? This is pretty cool. He's like, bro, this is Metallica. I was like, oh no, I'm going to hell! <laughs> but, but then I was like, actually, this stuff's pretty sweet. Uh, I can I can listen to this. I think it was Fuel. We were playing Quake and listening to Fuel. It was the best Jeez. time of my life. I know, right? <laughs> Most people don't like Plus culminate no that early. Shirts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I peaked. I peaked real early. Sorry, I keep kicking somebody back. That's me. It's fine. I'm I stretching apologize. out. No, my feet are falling asleep. Man, spreading, bro. I need to spread. Let me fly. I, I didn't mean to clip your wings, Adam. It's all right. Uh, it's cool. Man, speaking of clipped wings, apparently you were flying very close to the Earth at uh, Universal Studios this weekend. Well, you've has anyone here ever done the Universal Scary Nights thing? No. Halloween Horror Nights. Horror Adam. Nights, yeah. So say the full thing every time. I don't want to. Um, I never go to these things because they're it's always a shit show. It's way too many people. Lines are way too long. It's and, just people hiding in corners and jumping out at you in right. the and, and it's um James it's, is down pissed in hurricane by the way. A brief boxing update. He's no. chum, turning his way through a super punch up. There you go. You're oh, next. Shit. You're ups. Gotta, you got ups. Um, gotta take ball bull down, huh? I I feel like theme parks that aren't Disney represent the worst of humanity. Oh Jesus. And especially it's it's oh, more, you're really more up on this, huh? It's more true hmm. around Halloween time. And we just typically don't go to these things, but through a friend uh, so we we met someone who said, "Oh, I uh, I work for a a company that I can get us to the front of the line." I was like, "Okay, that makes it a bit more like interesting. That that will get me over at least the that that's something, right? We can at least go do the attractions and everything else won't be a, a big deal." Um, but then immediately she got shut down, and oh. they were like, oh, "No, you can't do that. You can't yeah. get to the front of the line." So immediately everything was wait in line, and I, I didn't begrudge her or anything like that. I was like, "Yeah, of course that's going to happen," but this is also. Um, after Jess and I had been driving for like four hours, we just we were up in Joshua Tree for the weekend, like doing vacation. So we're like, okay, we'll come to this thing, and then we're already waiting in line. And then people just cut in front of you. Mm. That's a thing. I heard about that happening in like Shanghai, <laughs> uh, at like uh, Disneyland and stuff like that. They're like, yeah, that's just they don't understand of... line etiquette. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they people just cut in front of you. That's a thing. I'm like, okay, well, I'm big, so if that ever happens to me, um, I'll just push them aside. But um, just just shitty teenagers, dude. Just. Just stepping in front of you, walking in front of you. I'm like, hi, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, sorry, man. I'm like, no, you're not. Yeah. You wouldn't have done it, <laughs> asshole. I want to go see the jigsaw. When you said room. that's where you're going, I was very surprised, especially oh, after a long room? drive home. I was, what? I was very. Oh, surprised. you mean to, okay, Adam? Adam yeah, saying going that he to was going. Nights. Well, that. yeah, I. And you were with a pretty big group, right? It's like nine people. Yeah. yeah, I. What's that? There's always that thing like. I don't know. You know when you like you go to a restaurant, you eat too much of something, you're like never again. Mm -hmm. But then, and it, then you do it, next or time. it's like yeah, getting, yeah. You know, it's like having a hangover. And you're like I'm never gonna drink again. Yeah. But enough time goes by, and go. There was something fun there, yeah. and then I'm, on, I'm gonna take another five years off. I'm never gonna go to a, a mm -hmm. horror nights thing ever again. Uh, but I'm sure, yeah, in five years, I'll well, something will remind me. It's good because I'm planning on going, <laughs> and I've been saying to Elise that so there's certain times we're paying more money to not have to think about lines 
it's worth it. And I know not everyone can. Yeah. But it's, it, it's you should you before you decide whether or not you're going to do a pure entertainment activity that's not food or sustenance and you're already spending extra money that you have to go do this activity you got to take a long hard look on whether or not <laughs> whether or not it's worth to pay what? pay more money to make sure you don't have to deal with the bullshit and get the most out of it but my issue with especially universal studios is they're sort of like the spirit airlines of theme well, yeah because they're, they're like the cheap one to go to right now not, right? They're, barely, not that cheap. they're not that cheap it's not though. like six flags six, yeah. so six we, flags is 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 less expensive than what do you what the fuck do you do at Universal Studios. They, they have well, a Transformers ride. My, uh, Minion Land. They got yeah. Minions. Universal Studios is... They got a uh, Fast and Furious ride. Universal Do Studios... Do they still have that E.T. thing where you sit down and watch E.T. fly into the sky? No, no, no it's Mummy now. That. But not new Mummy, the it's mu old Mummy. Yeah, Mummy Returns Mummy is, is great. That roller coaster is awesome. It's a pretty cool ride, It's like the it rock and roller you. coaster. Yeah. Um, you go backwards, uh, I spoiled it, I'm they, sorry. They did right by uh, getting rid of E.T. and replacing <laughs> it with Mummy. It's just, <laughs> Universal Studios <laughs> is a strange park where it's kind of like, I just really like movies. Yeah, and pop culture. They do try to play with the movie culture a lot, yeah. and not it's not specifically Disney, but I just mm -hmm. like all of it. So you go to this thing, and you're like, "Oh wow, Simpsons World!" Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's nothing to do there. Family guy, and the ride isn't yeah, that just, good, just right? Buy a giant donut like all reading. the rides are just large screens in a chair that moves. That's uh, like Mummy Ride is an actual Mummy ride, ride is an actual ride, but, but honestly, if but you like compared, Transformers, yeah, and, yeah, if you compared its screens. length to any other roller coaster in any other amusement park that has roller coasters, mm -hmm. it's a third of the track length, right? <laughs> um, it's still fun, about. but like that's not what it's about. Then they hit you with the scarabs, man. What it's about is kind of the presentation of the ride. Like same with the Transformers one, you're so like going movies. through like a grid. Harry Potter one is pretty. It's the same. Sure. The line for the Harry Potter ride is just as exciting I, as I will the say ride. Well, I, I got so hyped up on Mummy. Theming, I went home and rent Mummy Returns and so then fell asleep. Their, their theming that's is pretty right. good. It's pretty nice. One of one of the mazes we did was the Shining. Oh, the Shining Maze was awesome. Yes and no. Don't spoil these mazes, because I'm going. Yeah, uh, no, you'll like, you'll like, like Shining. A, like I'm taking everyone that's maze? listening. Oh, uh, well, I just want to say that at some point, someone making the maze went, Oh yeah, there's not a lot not of... a whole lot to go with It's here. mostly psychological. Well, but they... they, they <laughs> what if we shining? made it more of a slasher thing? That's the thing, though. They, yeah. I, I feel like they did... They, there were they some good They did what nods. they could with what they had. They had like the... Well, can't spoil it. And, and just, just for the audience, the term is maze, but it's not an actual yeah. maze. So no. it... When you walk through a haunted house and there's just like things that go, bah! yeah, that, they call that a maze for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, there's, the, okay. Well, because there's always at Universal, there's always the Walking Dead mm. ride. Yeah. That one's always there. I didn't see that. Yeah, it was it's like on the way to Minions Land, <laughs> <laughs> from New York Town to Minions Land, <laughs> halfway between Water World and the Mummy. Um, but uh, it's they have like a Walking Dead maze that's always there, but it is literally, it's just like, all right, it's a group of three. Yeah. Three at a time but go in and someone goes, the, the, the horror mazes, I realize, are one of the smartest scams in the world. Because oh, you're know. waiting in a long line. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you're rushing through because you're like, Jigsaw's coming, Jigsaw's coming. <laughs> and you're running through because it's all scary. Uh -huh. So now you waited it for yeah. an hour to run through this thing uh -huh. in 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I was I, like, that's pretty genius. I, I will say is. Elise really loves mazes and horror things but she she's a like a hard target like like people in zombie masks I beam <laughs> like it's like Terminator vision yeah. they see her coming they go the boots fit the clothes fit and I'm gonna steal her bike and then they yeah. go after her straight well, up. That, that's, uh, Jess was doing that last night where you have to go through like, um, I think it's like Blumhouse land. Yeah, okay. Uh, or is it Blumhouse? So there's like a spooky like, tunnel. Death Death person. Yeah. <laughs> ah, uh, happy death day, man. You, take your brain. Uh, Have a death day in Purge Land. They, they make you go through like a spooky tunnel, yeah. and it's like zombies, but it's all it's like kind of Purge thing. I don't oh, know. Oh wait, on. were you talking about like the bio tunnel with the blinking lights? Yeah, toxic yeah. tunnel. That doesn't make any sense. They're I just... don't know what's going on, but <laughs> this is at, like industrial music. At point. one point, Jess pulled her phone out. She started filming. Like, Put your fucking phone away. Put your. You're just asking them to come after you because oh, yeah. <laughs> they're. You know what they're doing? They're like, pay attention to me. So I do the thing where. Like I'm, I'm a very stoic human being. <laughs> like I witnessed a car crash today, and I just looked at it just gingerly and went, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like yes. I try to the Cars little crash. It's the little finger thing. It's like be fuck, be ready for anything so that you're not surprised when it happens. But when I'm at these <laughs> horror things, I always, always got activated. Oh, oh my 
my god! Yeah. So that they leave me alone. Ah, uh, you Because if, if I act like I'm into it... You have to patronize them. Kind of, because uh. we, we did this, remember, when we did the Achievement Hunter thing? Yeah. Joel's like, uh-uh, not scared. It's like, Joel, you dumbass. Like, yeah. they're, now they're gonna want to scare yeah, you. Yeah, now, now they're gonna put the fake chains on your face so. and it's gonna smell like gas! Stop it! <laughs> But isn't that what you go there for? Isn't that yeah, what you want? That's, I'm gonna get scared. Inherently, Adam probably shouldn't have been there <laughs> in the first place. Well, I'm also I'm just not a fan of the the safe scares. Oh, it, it's a lot of loud noise. Ah, and then you go, ah, and it's over, and you're well, safe. Well, I mean, you want to go to blackout? Yeah, with me? like yeah. you didn't want to do that either. Adam wants to get gagged and thrown into the back. No, of the I don't truck. want any of that. Oh, I, I don't know. Go, if you want a really cool image of a whorehouse, watch Channel Zero this season. Mm -hmm. They're Whore, doing the No End House. Horror House? Horror, horror, yeah, he said horror, horror, horror House. house. <laughs> That's it, good. a lot of syllables there. It is a... Yeah, horror. It's a horror house, but it, yeah, they do the creepypasta thing with the horror. No End House. And it is... It's a, it's a, t it's a show. It's obviously all fiction, but... That that's like that's that's the haunted house you want to go to, mm -hmm. where it can read your mind and do weird shit to you. Oh yeah, the Black Mirror yes. house. Kind of, it's yeah. it's pretty cool, but uh, that show deserves more attention anyway because it's so good. far, so, so far. So two episodes in, it's pretty good. Did you guys uh, what show are you talking about? No, we haven't seen Channel Zero. Um, you watch it. No. First season was meh at best. Yeah, but it sounds like they're getting better at it. It's on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, not, first episode, no. I believe, is. I thought the first episode was. That's yeah, what I heard. I, I bought it. I'm on just happy Amazon. that it's this season. I'm not one of those people that starts celebrating Halloween really, really early or gets super into Halloween, mm. but I like enjoying it from like a kind of, yeah. you know, a seven out of ten. <laughs> like yeah. I'm like, man, this is cool that I have the option to go to a horror maze based on The Shining if I really want to. Sure, yeah. that's cool. We live in a cool age, man. Oh, well, we also, we live in the age of. People who love Halloween love Halloween. Yeah. Now, why is Halloween the one that people? It's di it's different. Like, there's no other holiday that like it's, celebrates spooky things. I also think that. But like, is it the spooky that people are are into? I think I we got Safe some spooks. runoff from people that really loved Christmas. Mm. When when like it became this like celebrating Christmas. Shit. There's Sorry. like an anti-religion kind of That's like Christmas is like. A religious holiday, like once that war happened, mm. I celebrate Christmas. I don't, none of the religious aspect of he it, hates like Jesus. matters to me. I straight yeah, up like I Futurama hate Xmas instead of Christmas. He well, was born in the spring, motherfuckers. Well, there's, there's parts of it that are enjoyable and only enjoyable once a year. Yeah, things like eggnog and putting yeah. a, a tree in your house yeah. for some Canes. goddamn reason. But the, I think that some people the lip service to peace and unity. Yeah. I think that some people, and I would also say that maybe this is a symptom of uh, like a millennial generation where it's much harder to buy a house. Mm. That w so much of Christmas is mm. is like house based, yeah. right? But Halloween, Home and besides trick or treating, which most adults don't do anyway, is not really house based. It's going to somewhere else, huh. dressed up and yeah, partying, getting real slutty, right? and getting fucked up while watching horror movies. So Anyone I think I think that. there's a certain attitude that young people are more drawn into that. Well, I'm okay with it all. Well, Halloween's weird because it's really awesome as a kid because you get free candy, or at least we did for us. I don't think I don't know if kids are even really like, trick or treat. I, that I much think anymore. trick or treating is still a thing. It's yeah. got to be. It is. Well, yeah. This is my. This is the this first. The neighborhoods year. I cruise and watch. <laughs> no, they do. That's not weird. <laughs> uh, but then there's that weird middle range where how, it, dressing up and like it's not cool to do. Like my like my middle school to high school phase was like, uh -huh. why? What would you do on Halloween? Because never, never. I I. I was. No I things. did never cool. did never occurred to me. Really, yeah. my I, friend and I were like, sixteen, yeah. and he was Shaggy, <laughs> and I was some other costume. I don't like an old timey gangster. Well, and you we had less simple we, friends. We than were I. fucking. We were fucking sixteen years old, walking around our neighborhood asking for candy, and you're like, "This is the fucking best." Oh yeah, well, man. that was the thing is we got shunned. We I think one year, I want to say it was like the last year of middle school or first year of high school, we went like. Skating around or whatever, biking around, going door to door, and they they would do the thing. Go, you're too old. Oh, and then we were like, wow, bullshit. Man. Well, yeah, exactly. But then That's that was joyless the, ass. Fine, I'm gonna go get teen yeah. pregnant. <laughs> I'm gonna light your car on fire, but, asshole. But that was the. And then I think like one year we went like TPing or something like that, and like I, I just at some point I was like, I don't some fucking I, hijinks right there. I felt I was like I'm like too old for this. Like I don't know. I'm just gonna oh. just go hang out with my friends. Or I'm gonna stay home and watch or play you know play video games or something mm -hmm. like. Fuck yeah. But then when I became an adult, it was. Oh, I can drink now, <laughs> and uh, you know, wow, everyone's dressed like a slut, and I could dress up like a slut, and everyone's a slut. It's, a, it's a perfect slut, it's right? It's a slutty holiday. Night of the sluts. Yeah. Um, yeah the sluts. And then, Thank and then you, you started. Focus. Then you found things like, you know, horror nights. Like now, it's it's a weird thing. Like as an adult, being a kid is the new thing. Mm. 
Because everyone at the thing last night did was just there as adults. There were no children. It's it's really expensive to be an adult. California. Oh, dude. That was how to party. We were um. So like I said, Jess and I we came down from the desert, so we had all our stuff in the car, mm-hmm. and so we had to we had to put on like sweaters and shoes and stuff like we're we're changing by the car. There were so many people that pulled into the parking lot, and were just sitting in their cars. Oh yeah, That's and I was like, thing. I'm like, why is everyone still sitting? Oh, they're smoking weed. Yeah, like, oh, nice. pre- all the doors pre- open like around the same time. It's just oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I mean it's borderline legal here, so whatever. But it, well, yeah, in a couple um, months. Yeah, I'm like, however well, you still, choose to enjoy your not, night. Yeah, it's still not the way they were doing it, right? Even but, in a couple months. But uh, going back to the whole thing about Universal being uh, the Spirit Airlines of uh, theme parks, man, they bit. they what it just got a they piece got a nice of pizza, some bread, and a coke for eighteen dollars. Don't yeah, but that's in like, the park. That's Disneyland too. Yeah. I know, I know. But you pay Disneyland like ten dollars to get in for the yeah. entire year. Here was here was the worst part though. This was the not kicker. Like, not since Harry Potter. Potter. They, they oh, changed they got rid it. Of that? Harry okay. Potter changed. Universal was a little, like, bring a Coke can, yeah. and we'll just give you a season pass. <laughs> like, but now it's not like that anymore. This is where I drop off the cans. Yeah. Yeah. You can get, right like, this way, almost built. You can get a reasonably priced season pass that you can't use that all over the summer. Right. Or something okay. like that. Mm. Um, but this, this was the kicker. We went to, like, Cletus's Fried Chicken or whatever, oh, yeah, and I bought a drink for $8 or whatever it is. And they said a thing with like no refills, and I was like, "Well, that's weird. They got the machines, but those this is those futuristic ones. Oh, the powder. Where one? It's all the um, it's the touchscreen Free- ones. Freestyle. Freestyles. Is it called freestyle? Yeah. Coke freestyle. Okay. I, I always thought like, oh, it's kind of cool. Wicca wicca. I try to do a refill, and it like reads a barcode. What oh, in the wow. cup? And they're like, DRM. And they said, please take this cup downstairs and pay for a refill. Oh, wow. Your cup, your cup has run out of refills. Fuck off. And that's all, that was my moment. No, I'm like, telling you to fuck off. I know. <laughs> your cup downstairs. Yeah. Oh, I was very... Yeah. Not, not upset, well, but just... You were, I, felt, I mean, I felt you played. had a long weekend. It was not probably the right conditions for you to have been going to Halloween Horror Nights on a weekend. To pay no for a refill. I'm going to try and go during the week. That's smarter. Which is my goal, I and I'm still I'm still pushing Elise. I'm like, just let's pay the extra money and get to the front of the line. Jess and I could be in that. and out of there in 90 minutes. We were, Jess and I were. Oh, it still won't be 90 minutes. We were snake charmed. Yeah. They said, "Come on, we're doing a big thing, all of us yeah. Sunday night, which always sounds great. It sounds safe, right? Lies. They're like, I'm gonna go with all my friends. Wait a minute, this is like this is hurting cats. I hate it's, my friends. It's not, <laughs> though, then also it was a group of people I I don't even know. Yeah, and everybody's Hi- got opinions about shit. Highlight of the night. I want to go do this. There was a guy wearing a demo disc shirt. Oh, oh nice. In line for the Shining thing. And I said, hey, I like your shirt. Did you just step in front of him? <laughs> Did he no, not no, know no. Who I you was were? ahead of him. I was way ahead of him. That's cool. <laughs> I yeah. was more important than him. Yeah, it was fine. And then some guy who worked there, uh, as I was walking in, he was like, hey, I enjoyed the stuff. And I said, oh, thank you very much. Aww. So that was nice. That's that was, cool. That was the best part was when yeah. I, my ego was boosted. Yeah. <laughs> People said nice things to me. And yeah. then, Did you guys uh, go camping up in Jennifer Tree? We got a ranch. We stayed at like a uh, two house ranch. You guys have the perfect life. It was for Joel Rubin's birthday. Oh, it was I like didn't a bel- it was a wait, wait, belated wait. small Joel Rubin gathering, a celebration of all things Joel, <laughs> which is to say the desert. Uh, um, so yeah, we went up there and hung out. I had never been to Joshua Tree before. Yeah, either I have never been there either, and everyone talks about how fucking rad it is. Ever it's been to cool. Uh, Palm Springs? No, I never did Palm okay. Springs either. Palm it, Springs it's cool. it's. Okay, well, you've been to Vegas. Yeah, I, so, I imagine all of those places are a bunch of nothing. Yeah. And then you sit around with some people that you enjoy spending time yeah, with. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Which is what we did, and the place we stayed at was really cool, so it had, like, a fire pit and the jacuzzi and... Like an outdoor jacuzzi? Yeah, outdoor yeah. jacuzzi. Well, I mean, the whole thing was, it, it's a ranch out in the middle of, yeah. the, like, the closest neighbor is a mile down the road. Yeah. So it was kind of cool, kind of scary. I um, took Benson. Oh, nice. Benson was just like desert dogging around and stuff, <laughs> which was fun. Yeah. Dogging. Um, it was it was a good it was a good thing, but I I l- drove we drove home at the same time. Yeah, and I got home and was exhausted. I was just exhausted. You also went hiking that morning. Justin and I slept in. That's true because my feet hurt. <coughs> but we, still, hiked, just, we hiked the day before. The drive yeah. takes a lot out of you. The drive is what like three hours or something. It's yeah, two and a half three hours. But on the way there. Uh, it was four and a half, five. Well, we were, Friday Friday or something. Yeah. well, we were leaving and I was ready to just like go home because all our crap's in the car. I'm like, I want to go home, drop everything off, and then we'll go to Horror Nights or whatever. And then we got a text, uh, from, uh, Elliot and he's like, hey, we're, um, we're going early. Like, we're gonna be there at 5.30. I'm like, I'm barely gonna make it home at 5. And I was like, fuck it, let's just go straight there. Mm-hmm. And we go there. And so like, already, so I was like, th- things were just compounded of like, I'm tired. Uh, we did this drive. Like my, now, I have this weird stomach issue that I had ten years ago, and it's coming back now. Where 
Like, I, my, if I eat the wrong thing, my stomach inflates. I have to go to the doctor on Monday to get this shit figured out. It's leaky gut syndrome, man. I'm dying. Maybe, maybe it's proximity to Super Nintendos. Maybe Probably. That's why they took it away from you when you I were feel kid. great now. Yeah, now this, now you're in the room with this. The waves well, are hitting you. But it, it's so fucking random, because I had some of that space food. Bernie sent us a whole box, which mm -hmm. I guess is expired, but it's, you know... I don't know that it is. Can it, can it, it expire? I don't think it can. It, That's so, a joke. it can expire, but it's basically like... Medicine when it expires, the potency just goes down. The potency of what? Because there's less protein in it or something. Vitamin C. Oh. Yeah. Vitamin C is the big. Thing. But I, I had one of those when you guys were out last week, and I just got hit with the worst stomach ache. Mm -hmm. and I had to lay down, and then it just went away. So the super shit. Yeah, you relapsed. It, no, it wasn't shit. That's what sucks. Yeah, it's like it nothing comes cramps. out either way. Yeah, it's, it's all like, gas, man. Yeah, it's what I just I want to, someone to just like um, remember when. Who's that actor? Owen Wilson couldn't breathe in Anaconda, and they had to cut his throat open so he could breathe. I do remember that. Uh, wasn't Owen Wilson, but yes. Who was it? It was the redheaded dude. I've never oh, Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz. Sorry, I got it mixed up. My bad. Audience. That's embarrassing. Uh, Owen embarrassing. Wilson got wrapped up. Boy, that's that's going to be immortalized too. Yeah. Oh wait, Owen Wilson is in it though. He's in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, he's, so he's, I'm not wrong. His girlfriend is like banging hot, and you're like. I don't think so, not, man. I mean, yeah. uh, this is before yeah. Owen Wilson not was Owen it. Wilson. Not buying it. That's true. He had done basically <laughs> have you, a single Have you not seen Anaconda? No. <laughs> There's a crazy fucking part where I think he eats like a bug or something, right? What happens? A bug gets in his throat? Yeah, it gets in his his uh, air tank and then he oh. breathes it. Yeah, this has nothing to do with the snake. Throat. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it goes in his throat and then they have to... John Voight. Poke, yeah, John Voight, John Voight <laughs> pokes a hole below where the thing is. Oh, gives yeah. him a tricheotomy Because it swells up his, his throats and then he's breathing out of a pen tube. Go, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's frightening. But then he gets to sleep for the rest of the whole, whole Well, movie. except for one part when he's like, he tries to fight back and then he starts bleeding from the neck. I'm like, no, Eric Stoltz, sit there down. Should be, there should be a term for a narrative device where what appears to be the hero of the film is taken out of action early on into the film and then oh. a new hero rises up. The so Jennifer Lopez decisions. is the hero of the movie. Yeah. But when the movie begins, you think that Eric Stoltz is going to be like the main character because he's like the captain or yeah. whatever. The old switcheroo. But that's not what happens. Yeah. The Congo. Interesting. Congo. Yeah, Congo did that. Uh, be executive decision. Executive decision mm -hmm. Which yeah. that seemed to be more of a payment dispute. <laughs> With Steven Seagal, or he's like, I don't want to move. Yeah, yeah. I'm very tired. Anyway, I want someone to do that to my stomach. Yeah, so I get Pop all the F fucking you? air out of me. Out in your stomach. Uh, you want to want to see that? Dun, 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 I play dun, Donkey Kong so much at Ad Reed? Costco. Ad Reed. Sorry, we'll talk all day. My much bad. like Donkey Kong Country is, uh, is comprised with pre-rendered graphics. You too can punch up the quality of your productions with Storyblocks, the uh, the image licensing uh, service, available from such fine purveyors as Audio Blocks and Video Blocks. Now it's Storyblocks. Uh, they have 400,000 stunning photos, vectors, textures, and icons. Nice. Um, and you can use that stuff for pretty much anything. Um, I've like Googled up textures a lot for Photoshop work and stuff like that. If you want to do the kind of stuff we do, having access to an image library that is a little more above board than Google Image Search is vital. Because mm. uh, yeah, I mean, nearly every video oh, we make. Missed that. We gotta we gotta harvest some dumb images and Photoshop them around. So you know, Adam has a bunch of. A cluster of uh, bananas in his ass. Where do you think those bananas come from? Uh, they come from image sites like Storyblocks, mm -hmm. and all the content is royalty free. So once you put it in your project, you don't have to worry about like people coming after you or whatever. It's part of the licensing with with Storyblocks. So as long as you get it from their service and you get it legitimately, you can use it forever and whatever you want, and you'll nice. never have to owe a dime to anybody. You just start raking in that YouTube cash. I would I would advise you to educate yourself about that kind of stuff because a lot of people just start out and just start making mm -hmm. things with stuff that they find mm -hmm. and then they don't realize the implication yeah. that if, if you they can screw it, themselves. People will come after you and they'll find anything they can pick out. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially with the YouTube content ID system. Oh, you yeah. gotta be careful of that. It's getting harsh. It's getting harsh out there. So yeah, I, I think we always advise Doing stuff legitimately, which is becoming easier than ever. Uh, Premiere's tools are, are pretty affordable now, especially if you're a student. And uh, we have things like Storyblocks, which offer a seven-day free trial. If you go to storyblocks.com slash dude soup. Um, once more, that's Storyblocks. That's S-T-O-R-Y-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash dude soup to access their 400,000 image uh, library, which is plenty. Plenty. I'm sure there's a, a banana or two in there that you could use for whatever you feel like. Gadzooks. Yeah. Get those bananas. That's what Adam's gonna say when you get, when you when you unlock your potential with Storyblocks. So once yeah. more, that's storyblocks.com slash dude soup. Thank you for the offer, Storyblocks. Yeah, it's gonna help my thumbnail Le game. Yeah, legitimately we use a lot of different things for our 
are like stock library and video blocks and now story blocks or whatever they call the unified thing. Yeah, I think they it was, is, it was image blocks. I think is like rebranding. yeah, like ninety five percent of the stuff we grab is from that yep. that like library of stuff. And we've worked with other uh, sources before at uh, companies that were. Uh, we didn't want to get as nice of a thing as, <laughs> yeah, that those and it just ends up being useless. Yeah. Yep. And you're just like, well, it sometimes it's just like, why, why even bother? Yeah. So it's good to have a a good service like that that you can actually reuse constantly. Yeah, absolutely. Man, Donkey Kong Country's cool. Yeah, this is a such a good game. It's it's weird because everyone sort of buys into this narrative that Miyamoto hated Donkey Kong Country because oh, of shit. like graphics over gameplay. But going back and playing it, there's a lot of Anybody? really smart level design in this game. Miyamoto hated this game. There's stories about that. I've never heard it from Miyamoto. Miyamoto no. hates anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just that he was too Miyamoto. Yeah. He was but like, it's not perfect yeah. enough. There was. I remember. I think it was like some G4 special. There was. There was a dude who credited himself as a video game historian. That was always what his role was. He was like blonde and had kind of a weird nasally voice. I don't remember who he, his name, but anyway, he would recount a tale about how Miyamoto saw this game and was absolutely livid that they were making such a shallow graphics heavy game and that that's what led to the creation of Yoshi's Island is that he was like no fuck this we're not going to use technology we're going to use art so he made uh, Yoshi's Island or directed Yoshi's Island with its art style to sort of be a counterpoint to Donkey oh. Kong Country I'm trying to think if there's any quicker way to be forgotten than to be a historian a video game historian oh. well just a historian in general horror historian like your your highest hope is that Whatever you, you can, uh, you can make it into like a VH1 special. Mm. Maybe CNN these days because they're they're redoing that. Uh, no clip video. They're doing the night. Yeah, yeah maybe. Well, I don't know that anyone becomes a historian for the fame or the money. I think it's just Absolutely incidental. Not. You just yeah. you love it so much that you're that dork. So whenever somebody's like, we just need someone who can say anything. Oh. We need somebody to fill five minutes about Donkey Kong Country. I think it's like, I do know a guy yeah. who won't shut up about Donkey Kong Country. Is there any infighting, though, between, like, different historians? Like, oh, no, yeah. I'm the Donkey Kong guy. He's like, this is my beat! Yeah, there have been, <laughs> there have been countless arguments. Can't believe they called him. Yeah, some believe this about Donkey Kong. Most don't care. Uh, but then yeah. there's this guy, which is fine. I love the idea of one video game historian getting called for a CNN interview. Mm -hmm. And the other Look video game is. historian... You got it. Settle down. Oh, Omar. Man, Jeez. Omar real that's the most excited Omar's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, the... Let him have this. I just like the idea of the, the jilted video game historian just getting fucking shit-wrecked in a bar while, like, the CNN TV is on, and the other dude's up there for 30 seconds Skype calling from his mm. his living room, and the guy's like, that could have been me. Yeah. <laughs> the person I, sitting next I, to him. Always, I think I've said this before, but, man, if you ever wanted to do proper games journalism, if you were attention, uh, Polygon or Vox or anyone <laughs> listening, <laughs> I know you don't. Fucking Waypoint. Yeah, about to, oh because yeah, you're all doing. listening to NPR or whatever. And sharing stories about how pivoting to video is a bad idea. Go get a job at your local Starbucks oh, no, or no. Uh, sandwich place across the street. Austin Walker, no. From uh, from Bungie or Valve oh, or anything. Oh yeah. Be, just work at a restaurant. That's real fucking investigative journalism right there. And that's what I mean though. Like yeah, go in good. deep for six months. And if you were a plant at the Starbucks near Redmond, you would hear. Every Everything. And pretend you don't care. That That's all you got to do. Just be like, "Here's your order, blah blah." And if, if there, if you ever want to be like, "Hey, do you, uh, so do you guys do like video games?" Like, oh, yeah. oh okay, cool yeah. yeah. I um, stopped playing video games yeah, when I was a kid. Not interested. Are they for kids? And then you just have your recorder going at all times, <laughs> yeah. and they're all just like, "Man, fuck Half Life 3. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> they're well, like. Dude, that, that's that's how you get on the inside. Just work at a restaurant. As a as a weird aside, I remember when we, so way back in the day. When, when we were dabbling in the journalism game, and maybe we'll find a path back to that. I would like to, sure. as, as a future historian. I, I was going to say, Lawrence has got <laughs> yeah. historian lore. Written all over me. No, I'm going to be there someday, uh, recounting the tale of how Miyamoto hated Donkey Kong Country. But uh, I remember when we reported about the Silent Hills Microsoft whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, talks. Yeah. There were, I heard someone say like, oh yeah, that's like really well known in Seattle. People talk about that at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, uh, uh, great. Now we look like the idiots because no one believed the... But yeah, it's uh, it just made me realize. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you're in if you're in San Francisco or Seattle, you probably overhear so much. Come on, Flippy. What is his name? The dolphin? That's not a dolphin. It's a swordfish. Sorry. Pointy. <laughs> Swordy. Swordy. Swordy the swordfish. Man. Um, Rare no, was on absolutely roll, huh? true. Put googly if, eyes on everything. If if you, the, most people who work in He's so shiny. I, I say most, and I could be wrong here, but I would hope I'm I'm right. Most people work in entertainment. Uh, video games, film, television, can't stop talking about work. Yeah. We do it all the time. We go out, like J James, Elise, and I had a brief moment um, where we were 
we were just like just hanging out at Joshua Tree, and all we could talk about was like <gasps> getting a new office, and like, oh yeah, oh what would we do? Oh what if we? Do? It's like why are we talking about work right now? It's like because we like it. Yeah. We like work. We like talking about this sort of stuff. So if you want to do yeah true investigations. Oh goddamn. Yeah, I mean, where's that O? You missed that golden O. Yeah, you got your ostrich, but no O. Um, but yeah, I I would love for someone to actually pull that shit off. Mm. Uh, the problem is Go if you, if you got a, a shitty Triforce tattoo on your uh, yeah. on your <laughs> wrist or something, they're maybe wear long sleeves. That's I think my the other only... problem is there's no. I mean, I guess I guess that person could subsist off the revenues from their Starbucks job. But it's no, not, I don't fucking no, Vox or whoever's got to got to invest think in their people. They're gonna subsidize people. some person to just you work send the them Starbucks undercover. Months? Yeah, the they're police not, they can't afford that. The Jeez. police still pay cops that are in jail trying to get snitches to snitch. Yeah. I mean, have you, have you ever listened to NPR? It's always like, um, you know, a dam overflowed in Cincinnati. We go to our correspondent there. It's like, yeah, they send people places. They do it. They, they got to pay for that uh, somehow. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know shit. I just don't think there's, an, there's any money to justify sending someone deep inside. Do do you don't do, do it for the make... money. Yeah, you, you do, do it for, for the, the ethics, for the craft, baby. For yeah. the historic history. So you hear some... <laughs> Uh, the game developer lament about why yeah. it's hard to work with uh, You know Miyamoto really uh, didn't Microsoft. like Donkey Kong Country. Anyway, you want you want room for cream? <laughs> I'm available for booking if you guys need a yeah. Can I be on your podcast? Yeah. Please. Oh man, I want to run the podcast circuit one of these days. Just be a professional podcast. Did you watch that Lady Gaga documentary, man. She did it. She was on podcast. Well, was the radio thing. Her life's mm -hmm. crazy. What? 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 When her know. new album, so there's that uh, oh. Lady Gaga documentary. Okay, sorry, I didn't. I had no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, and she, it's about her when her new album was it Joanne or whatever was coming out, mm. and she's doing the media circuit, uh, going around. And it's like it, so it's they document <laughs> around that time. That's when I learned. Omar just biffed it. Um, but yeah, Barrel Cannon Kong? Canyon. You should. I I highly recommend watching that it's Lady Gaga. Right. Documentary. Well, we're running the corner. She's I got magic. A, oh, I wonder about Lady Gaga. Almost. She's beautiful. about to get. She's fucked. perfect. perfect. She is woman. a perfect woman. No uh, man deserves her. We got a net hard real quick though. Oh, I'm Donkey Kong. Oh. I know Donkey Kong. Donkey Krang. It's it's rough, you guys. All right, so I'm trying to think of how to show this because I'm gonna have to click over the monitor here. Uh, I'll, I'll swap. Yeah. This this no, little Nintendo it. thing is pretty fucking cool, guys. It's pretty cool. Hey, you sold me. Uh, I like these it are a lot. good games. <laughs> these are yeah. all good games wow. <laughs> that play Who really well. These games that have been critically acclaimed. I'm not as uh, decades, I just I'm not as I negative gotta, on it as I used to be. I gotta play the new stuff though, you know. Here, well, I I'm listen we'll again. Whatever. I have nothing against the Super Nintendo Mini. Watch Santa. Except buddies. for the fact that there's like they made 200 Cancel. of them and they said fight and then sat back in their castles and watched people <laughs> rip the throats out of <laughs> trying. At least they at least they went back on that right there's, where they they were like okay don't pay over retail we're gonna put more of them out yeah we're re-releasing the NES like. They learned, I guess. Yeah, there. I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it. The, the the chaos surrounding it is what I don't like, and it's fanned. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely but right. My my thing is stop proving you have money to throw away. Stop it. Uh, stop <laughs> stop paying twenty five dollars for parking. <laughs> All right, no, so, I mean we as people. Oh, so here we are. Uh, we're we're netting hard again. Alliance of Universes to holding it down. Um, Omar, are you familiar with the Alliance of Universes? I'm not, a little I bit. Seen this one. Yeah, what is this? Oh, wow, you guys. Okay, so yeah. let me give you guys a rundown here, mm -hmm. and I'll just read from the screen here. The Alliance of Universes is a group of universes that have joined together under one government for mutual protection. Those universes include Doctor Who, Pokemon, and My Little Pony universes, among many others. Um, so there are basic rights for all the all the citizens of the shared mm -hmm. of the Alliance of Universes. Mm -hmm. Anything about guns? Uh, let, me con <laughs> let me throw a Control F on here. Gun. Oh. Oh, Ooh, what's that say? Oh, his journey has only begun. That oh. was that is from the national anthem. Okay. Which let me let me let me read to you a a, a selection. Okay, we are one. Uh, written in the Lion King universe. As you go through life, you'll see there is much that we don't understand, and the only thing we know is that things don't always go the way we planned. But you'll see every day that we never turn away when it seems all your dreams come undone. We will stand by your side, filled with hope and filled with pride. We are made. We are more than we are. We are one. Wow, uh, I can hear Rowan Atkinson. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's only about half of it. But uh, so it's it is a it is a it is a uh, there's flags, mm -hmm. there's borders, there's uh, diplomacy, there's rules, uh, there's there's uh, God, what isn't included in this? It's everything. It's the geography of uh, the universe. Why is Lord of the Rings way out there? I, I think I don't think it shares. Uh, is that I mean, distance? It's still in the, if I'm to travel, so say I want to travel from Mario Universe to Sonic Universe, it would take less time than if I wanted to travel I think so. from Mario Universe to Lord or is of that the like, Universe. Or is that like the power distribution? No. The closer to Nerd City you are, the more power you hold? No, this is the explored area. So this is a representational map. Uh, uh, 
So it's supposed to be physically representational. So there is a there. This is the shield controlled by the Alliance of Universes on the on the outside. Is that here. just a general grouping for warrior cats? Like of I all kinds? So. Does that include like Thunder cats or Samurai and Pizza cats? Samurai Pizza cats. Great, great, great reference. Uh, well, a uh, felis felis spirit, feline spirit. Mm-hmm. There we go. Feline. Got it. How many pages is this? Um, <laughs> as many. Uh, oh, this see. is like a PDF that you're. you're yeah, it's a PDF. Through. Uh, it's a PDF, uh, and er- and there are many architects of the Alliance of Universes, and they yeah. each contribute the universes of their choosing. Who is so the uh, who is the master that is like collating all the changes into one? Gargan. I think what we're looking at is the is supernatural dimensions in there. A million simultaneous. Italia's in there, <laughs> all Angel singing beats. in unison. But yeah, a harmoniously uh, together as one. It's cardiac arrest. That's how Tom Petty died. Yeah, oh, it sucks. Yeah. Sorry, well, that's what they'll put. He overdosed on heroin, but his no. cardiac arrest. He went out peacefully. Last dance with Mary Jane. Yep. Mm-hmm, that was it. Mm-hmm, Last dance okay. with the. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. I'm losing. Oh, these are people's. Those. Yeah, these are. The, I've seen this thing editions. four weeks in a row, so yeah. I know everything about Adam it. Adam already knows. Ask all about me anything. I can recite the the fucking song. Uh, oh boy. Major you want to talk about the, the 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 Lion King universe or the Kimba here. universe? Do they have universal health care? Absolutely, one yes. Okay. One That's like one of their first things. Like everyone's taking care of at all times. All right. I got your back. You got my back. Alliances. What universe. about poor people? They're uh, in the Doctor Who universe. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we moved them all over Okay. There. All right. I got yeah. it. And then um, I try to stay away from from meme bait, but can't can't hold can't hold the damn forever. <laughs> mm-hmm. So Alliance of universes in one corner and the other. There's the Dinkster Daily YouTube channel. Okay. That every day uploads this clip of uh Oh. Somebody ring the dinkster. It's so it's Bill that. Paxton, he he, wait, yeah, he uploads Paxton. it every day. Every day. It's the same clip. <laughs> Eight seconds. That's awesome. There really? was you think that's funny? There was <laughs> there was a twenty, oh, hold on, there was a 20 minute special for the twenty five hundred subscribers. Somebody ring the dinkster. So it's just, it's what, like, what just compounds on it's a chorus line of ra- dinksters, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my oh, God. Oh, it's like a, <laughs> man, it's like a, like, what do they call it when you sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat one yeah, after yeah. the other? Oh, a chorus, I guess. Uh, I don't know what that's called. So I anyway, was, uh, <laughs> have, when did this start? How many years, how long ago? <laughs> that's a good question. Oh, oh Shrek, yeah, hold on. There's a Shrek. Uh, was hey, that April Fool's? No dinkster today. Special Let's Play. Somebody ring the dinkster. Whoa. 11 minutes. Hold on. April 7th. Text one, text. let's plays. <laughs> I love this. This is good. Uploading the same video over and over again is not it's unless a it, unless oh, you, you do it for three months straight, <laughs> then you can make a joke. I respect that commitment. But it's probably just like a, a script on a computer that's taking care of this every day. Someone had to some write Minecraft. that script. I guess. Yeah. All right. What's so, no dinkster today? Huh? Let's let's keep. Yeah, can oh, we see special. the no dinkster today? I want to see what they did oh, instead. No it's only eight seconds. Aren't they all? Yeah, I knew it'd be oh, the fucking dinkster. I knew nice. it. Nice. 394. April 1st. So wait, that's 394. What are they, are they all is that from? What's the dinkster from? Yeah, 577. So oh, it's, it must be Spy Kids. I guess it's three, two years now. See that, like somebody going in and changing the number and re-encoding the video every yeah. time, that is, that is commitment. Oh, so it's, okay, so Omar wasn't on board until he saw the number change. Yeah, because yeah, like, then he if, has to re-render it every single yeah, time. Yeah, you have to re-render it every time. Okay, so that, like, that's like, that's work. Go there. to the very first one. Yeah, yeah I want to see how long this is. Well, if you do, if you go to the top, you can just do by upload date. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we'll save a little bit of time. Look at you, look at you. I well, do the, nope, I, there you are. <laughs> someone who doesn't yeah. do for, for a profession. I don't. So one year ago. Hold on. Let's see the date. Somebody, yeah, February. February 29th, 2016. So about a year. That's impressive. And almost year and three years. quarters. Yeah. Dinkster number one. He was on it way back then. Somebody ring the dinkster. God, Spy Kid sucks. Yeah, it rest is. in peace. That's what we can definitively say Wait, about this. Wait, that guy's this. dead. Bill Paxson. Yes. Yeah, Bill yeah, Paxson's dead. Dead, dead yeah. a while. Add ago. it to the pile. How did you know? That Game over, dead? man. How, yeah. How did he die? Oh. Cardiac arrest. Yeah. <sighs> Twister. <laughs> Twister got him. Alien <laughs> predator. Okay. What else killed him? Robocop or something? Terminator. Uh, I mean, three fifty up. This is a bold statement. Hold on, he's dinkstering again. Oh, this is a re-upload for mobile users. Oh, nice! Yep, those memes. <laughs> Look how shitty it is. It's really from <laughs> Minecraft. It's Minecraft gameplay. Minions. It's like not even timed well. <laughs> so long. <laughs> it's so bad! I love I'm this! Gonna, I'm in a bold statement here. This is the most hard netting, hard netting 
than I think I've ever seen. Kind of a style hall video. Which which would you like better? That if they had like this, where they, occasionally there's something weird, or if it was literally the same thing every time for the year and a half. I think it may actually be better if it was the whole thing for a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. It's you build up, but then you do something like this to build. So like the when the no dinkster today, sorry, but then there's a dinkster. <laughs> that, that's what that's how you you basically build capital. You build comedic capital by doing this every <laughs> single day, and then you have to trade in that capital for something. Have you guys seen that dude that smiles to the camera for an hour every day? We yeah, did that already. He, was, yeah. he went through it. Oh, yeah. he did through. go through? He went through for like four Dinkster hours a day or whatever. Galaxy. Yeah, some some ridiculous amount of time every yeah. day. Yeah, he was on. I appreciated him, but... But like, has he turned into anything? Has he used that cachet no, at all? No, he just, he just sits in front no, of the camera. No, he's, because his whole thing is it's supposed to be meditation. Yeah. yeah. So he's like meditating. Oh, music, That's why I would think that something like that is even less of a hard net than this. Because what is this guy getting out of it other than a YouTube <laughs> channel that looks all like the Dinkster? And also that is like, I mean, the audience is not that huge, like 571 views. He's doing it. He's, he's doing, doing it, it for himself. For, for himself and for the commitment oh boy, the to what shot. YouTube could be if headshot one were to do this. Yeah. No, I, I feel you on that. Then. No. He's definitely in meme territory. Wait, yeah, go, so go back. I want to see what channels he's subscribed to. Oh, okay. Go up the channels. Funhouse, Yeah, please be fun. <laughs> right, let's see. Okay, he's aware of stuff. Oh, there's another Dinkster channel. Which one? Isn't what? that it? Feature channels, the Dinkster? That's just someone else's called the Dinkster. I doubt he's Dinkster pure. Bit of a hold to go down. I don't want to see the video you chose. He likes oh, the boy. He yeah, likes the fine look, bros. These look pretty meme -y. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. We're, getting, we're getting off trap. We're Sorry. getting off topic. Sorry. Here. Yeah. Uh, we get we can't we can't be following these rabbit holes all over the place. Look who's subscribed to though. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Which one is this? Oh, that's why it's. That's why number it's one is the promoted video. Yeah, every every visitor to Dinkster like Daily gets that one. <laughs> Wait, what? Can you see what has the most views for him? That's the Dinkster one. Every day. Uh, subscribe. That's the, that, that first that, one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me sort by uh. Popularity. It says inspired by. Oh, that one has thirty k. Wait. What? This well, one must be why special. Why was this one special? No, it's just it's just a random 258. one. 258. That was a good one. Somebody ring the dinkster. I think I do like that one better. That one probably that got posted good. on like a blog or something or one. um Reddit yeah. or 4chan or got whatever. Got embedded somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, number 1 is actually the fourth most popular dinkster. There are t 3 above it. Weird. I love the randomness. Yeah, I give it to Dinkster. Sorry. Oh, Dinkster today. So many arena. I don't want to watch Dinkster Spy today. Kids. Holy shit. No. Is Spy that what that's from? Spy, Spy Kids? Kids looks like garbage. Yeah. Look at it. Well, to green screen. Wait, I bet you never could have guessed. <laughs> Spy Kids is the weird one that was is Guillermo del Toro or something. No, Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. He was like he wanted to make a movie his kids could watch. Yeah, yeah and so he young, just bought this big studio. It's and he, hands. Well, he bought a giant green screen. Yeah. And he, he said the studio said I couldn't make a movie in a weekend, oh, and I proved God. them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> the entire movie is green screen. Yeah. Well, he he was up on George Lucas's fat cock for a while, where he's like, yeah. You can just shoot on a green screen, yeah. guys. You don't need to actually go there. You're like, well, it makes sense for Sin City and nothing else. And everything yeah. else. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's time to vote. We're over. No, oh, well over time. Damn. Oh, boy. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, I. Get a I, third sponsor. Keep it going. Oh, those, those offers have been out. Uh, all right. Alliance of Universes versus the Dingster Daily. Uh, I've heard some votes in already, but just to make it official, James, where, where are you? Dingster. Dingster Daily. Adam? Bah, I give it to Dingster. Dingster Daily. All right, Omar, it's vestigial, but. <laughs> vestigial. Yeah. I, I Dingster because Dingster. Jam James convinced me. Swooped. <laughs> Dingster <laughs> Daily's taking it. All right. Congratulations, Dingster. Sorry, Lance. You've unseated. Oh, I... Somebody ring the Dingster. <laughs> <laughs> you have to apologize to me, the, man. The camera change is so garbage. Yeah, because he's like he's huge in one second, and then he's normal size in the yeah. next. <laughs> it was uh, you know, Robert Rodriguez said it's never worth making something you can't sell. I don't know if he said that, but <laughs> that's the only reason Shark Boy and Lava Girl exist. I love that too. First take, we're good, Bill. You yeah. can Wait, go you now. Made those movies, so he had all of those, all of those shitty. Shark like, Boy and Lava Girl, he admitted, was just a screen test for Sin City, though. Really? He just wanted to see if he could completely virtualize environments. Uh, good job. Like, and to after that degree, and kids will eat any amount of and shit. And that's the one that has like Antonio Banderas. And, like, yeah, that's Spy Kids. Oh man, yeah. too many of the same. They're pretty identical, and I think <laughs> yeah. there's some of the same cast. I think also though. he's just so connected. He could just call people like. 
Bruce Willis come in for the day. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like he can get away with shit. Well, like when you that. don't have to move the camera, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just tell him to turn to the left. There, we got our next shot. Well, no, there's turn like a the bunch right. of shit too. Like in a, <laughs> and just mirror it for the other. For the other <laughs> like, well, like half the actors aren't even in the same room for mm-hmm. like Sin City. Well, it wouldn't work because you yeah. because you need to place them into a virtual set and you can't necessarily. If you do that, then they they might not fit. They might not be in the right thing. <laughs> It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Oh, I uh, got some got some announcements for you guys. Got some new merch. Yeah. That, hey, you do. We're a merch factory now. Too scary. Corporate initiative at Rooster Teeth to sell more merch. Don't That's, say that. That that doesn't make it feel... Oh, uh, it doesn't make it feel natural? Yeah. Whatever, I don't know. I mean, it helps support us. They're not yeah, paying us for this. It basically hey, says we're doing a good job. Funhouse shirt. I guess they are paying us for this. We wear it to Halloween Horror Nights job. and skip in line. Actually, yeah, hey. If you uh, hate it, let us know, but I like it. Splatterhouse cool. shirt. Audio listeners, you can't see this, but it's there. Yeah. Uh, bitly.com slash FH merch. Get you right to this guy. Well, not right to it. You'll have to click again, but there it is. It's got, I actually kind of like it. I like well, it too. It's yeah. a, the idea was it's spooky. a hollow, it's a spooky theme shirt that you can wear all year round. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it spooky? Oh, because it's, it's got like, like it's, it's, it looks like blood. Have you, okay, yeah. it's have you seen the cow chop one? It's just like it's just yeah, like the cow with like the the like diagram to cut its neck off or whatever. Oh, I thought it was just like an X-ray of a cow. Kind of, kind of but yeah. I like I like those shirts. It's like okay, spooky inspired. It's a new yeah, line. Yeah. It's a new thing we're working with. <laughs> and then uh, this Friday, we're doing the drunk SNES Classic stream. That's gonna be fun. Don't mm. touch it. Mm. I know. almost <laughs> broke it. As long yep. as we stick to Street Fighter, everyone's looking forward to it. I, I haven't come up with uh, oh, that'd be a good one. I'm workshopping. I'm workshopping some rules because it's like it's a lot of different games, mm. and one rule doesn't work for all of them. Arcade so. mode, Street Fighter highest difficulty. Ugh. Once it gets, to, once we all yeah. lose, then we have to drink. Well, yeah, I, I've been trying to workshop some. I basically micro challenges per game. If you get hit by a fireball, you drink. If, yeah. you, if, if you get hit That's by a, a fierce thing. kick, fierce kick. Everybody comes up with rules like kicks. All kicks are fierce. Gotcha. When you nostalgia hard, then you take a shot. <laughs> this doesn't work, man. Why do you even say that out loud? Anyway, yeah. Thanks for listening to Dude Soup today. We got to rest up for Friday. We got the post show coming right up. If you're watching live, uh, a lot of fan art to look through because we took a buy last week. So. Get excited for that. There's also porn this week, so good stuff. There it is. There it is. Case closed. Now you know Best sell. Here. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna have to like resize this window a little bit. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, if you're watching live, stay tuned for that. If you're not watching live, check it out. There's a link in the description to the post show. It's a good time. It's where we get real and rap and look at uh, fan art. Thank you. And we'll be back. So See you in thanks. A bit. Bye. Bye. See you next week or soon. Mm. Mm. Still mm. there? That one's not coming up, huh? Mm. Mm. Still going. <laughs> What about that one? Nope. Mm. Mm. I have a disgusting question. Okay. If you're like cool high school guy, like the guy out there, and you're having like a high school three-way, mm-hmm. and high school three-way. you finish in a girl's mouth, and then she goes down on the other girl, and she gets pregnant that way, who's it's her baby? Yeah, <laughs> she has to raise a child. It's her baby. Yeah. No, wait, hold on. So that's so the two moms. You have two moms.